Okay, for those of you interested in mocap, in this video I will show you how to use Mixamo and Fredagon together. At the end of the video I will also export Fredagon into Unreal Engine. So have fun with it. In order to use Mixamo with Fredagon, we are going to press upload character, then we will select the FBX file that's inside the included Mixamo folder. And once Mixamo processes the file, you'll see that the skeleton is already rigged inside Mixamo and you will be able to add animations to it, letting Mixamo do the retargeting for us. Once the animation is loaded, we can download a new FBX with the animation and go straight into Blender. In Blender, we will open the Fredagon Mixamo blend file, and this file contains the Blender armature, but there is also a Mixamo collection that contains a modified Mixamo armature that Blendrig will use. As you see, the Blendrig armature is following the Mixamo armature right now. So, with the Mixamo add on installed, we are going to import the FBX file that we downloaded from Mixamo. Then we're going to select the Mixamo rig and we will assign the FBX armature so that the add-on applies that animation onto the Mixamo rig. Once the animation is applied, we can erase the FBX armature and we can hide the Mixamo rig. Then we select the Blend Rig armature and you see that Blend Rig is successfully following the Mixamo animation. If we now go to the Blend Rig panel in the Mixamo tab, you will see that we have an influence slider, and also a couple of extra options. Basically, we have two possible workflows. One is to simply bake the animation into the Blend Rig armature, and the other possibility is to use the Mixamo animation in real time and then snap out of it when we need to. While Blend Rig is following the Mixamo rig, you can still select and manipulate the Blend Rig controllers. That gives you an extra amount of control over the animation without the need of using extra tools such as the NLA editor. So if you want to bake the animation into the Blend Rig armature, you simply have to set the start and end frames and then you bake the mocap. Once you do that, Notice that the Mixamo influence slider will be set to zero so that the Blendrick armature ceases to follow the Mixamo armature. If what you want to do is to snap out of the Mixamo animation at any time without baking or anything like that, you just need to press the snap out of Mixamo button. Of course, if you want to do this and you want to snap out of the Mixamo armature at a certain point in time, that snapping needs to be animated. Therefore, before you press the button, the Blendrick armature should have an action assigned and auto keying should be enabled. Then, when you press the button, keyframes will be added to all the mocap bones in the Blendrick armature, also, the influence slider will be keyed, and then on the next frame, the influence slider will be set to zero and again it will be keyed and also the mocap bones will be snapped into that position and the transforms will also get keyframes. Notice that in this example, on frame 92, the Blendrick armature stops following the Mixamo armature with a seamless snapping. Well, now that we have an animation on the rig, we can set it to game engine mode and we can export the animation to a game engine. As you see, the deformation of the rig is achieved with standard bones, so this is 100% compatible with game engines. I also built up the hierarchy so that squashing and stretching of the rig can be exported without issues. In order to export the character, we're going to set the armature to object mode, then we're going to select the armature and all the meshes that belong to the character, and we export an FBX. About the FBX export options, the most important options are to export selected objects, also to export deformation bones only, and in the bake animation options you have to set simplify to zero. Once in the game engine, I'm going to import the FBX file, I select the import animation options, and also I set the scale to 100, and then you see that the character is imported inside of the game engine. 
It's important to say that if you wanted to adjust the animation of the skeleton inside the game engine, well that would be a bit tricky cause the rig that's generating the animation inside Blender is just too complex, so you would need to generate a control rig inside the game engine that fulfills the same complexity that the Blender rig has. So my suggestion would be to always animate inside Blender and export the deformation bones from there. Alright, I hope that this has been helpful for you. Remember, if you want to start rigging your characters with Blendrick, check out the GitHub link below and join our Discord channel. And the next video will be the last one of this series, and I will be talking about the files that come with the Texture and Sculpt Source Files version of Predigo. I hope you enjoy it, and rock on, happy blending, see you in a bit. Make your own.